Well, good morning and welcome to the Morning Report. My name is Billy Lawson. The Morning Report is a production of FightbackMedia.com, 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 and FightbackMediaTV.com. I trust that you are well on this glorious Thursday morning. Uh, it is nice out. It's about 70 degrees out. The sun is out. The humidity is down and it's fantastic. We live in Florida. Sorry, you can't come here. We're full. Uh, <laughs> today, I wanted to really um, talk a little bit about some of the nonsense that's going on that's being said out loud um in a really i don't know deceptive way about what's happening here in the state of florida uh, the freedom state of florida uh i want to talk about education you know i've been on this education thing uh, because it's kind of you know my my roots education is kind of my roots uh my professional roots and um and I think it's really extremely important. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about uh, our governor banning books because book banning is bad. Um, and it is. And it is, generally speaking, as a concept, shouldn't ban books. Um, and um, the um, this whole debate on uh, the governor is banning the teaching of uh, African-American history. No. Neither of these things are true. Neither of these things are true. And this is why I am, uh, I am still of the mind that uh, alternative media, alternative media is, is extremely important when fact-checking mainstream media. There needs to be an alternative always. But it will require you, the, the the person who is taking in content, to use your brain for a second. I'm not insulting people who are watching, but I want to give you a methodology by which to talk to people. You have to use your brain when you take things in and you have to think, hmm, I wonder if, as opposed to taking it in as gospel. I don't want you to take anything that I say today as gospel. I'm not Moses. I'm not bringing this down on with, with tablets. I'm not. Um, I'm relating to you what I know is fact. And then it's up to you to check it out. I know we used to be of the mindset that if you watch it on TV or if you read it in a newspaper, it was obviously fact. Unfortunately, that hasn't been the really hasn't been the case for quite a while. And when you hear about what I'm going to tell you, about the book banning and the teaching of African American history in the state of Florida. You're gonna, I want you to check it out. I want you to research it for yourself. I want you to use multiple sources. I want you to go to the direct source. I want you to go to the bills that we're talking about. That's what I want you to do. I want you to do the work. Now, not all your friends and family are going to do the work. I get that. They're not. That's why you, who are watching this video this morning, need to do the work. All right. Here's the myth. The myth that, is that Florida schools have been directed to empty libraries and cover classroom books. Now, we see these videos on TikTok and we see them on Instagram and Facebook where there are teachers sadly covering up their classroom libraries because they've been told to and they're afraid that that some book will bring the ire of the governor and the governor will you know uh, charge them with some crime no 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 of the 175 books removed uh, across the state 164 of them or 94 percent were removed from media centers and of them 87% of them were identified as pornographic, violent, or just inappropriate for their grade level. Now, I've had this conversation offline for weeks now. There have There's always been a methodology to have only uh, age and grade appropriate materials in media centers at schools, for instance. In a high school, 
in the periodicals, y'all remember periodicals, right? Uh, referred to as magazines by the rest of us, right? Um, you couldn't get Playboy or Hustler or Gent or Jugs. It wasn't appropriate for high school, for minors. You couldn't get those periodicals. You couldn't find access to those periodicals, let alone be able to, you know, to go go there and go, um, go go to the library and go. I need this copy of Gent for this month. And there's a companion article in Jugs. I need to uh, cross reference that research with this um, article that's in Hustler. You would you've never been able to do that ever ever why is it because of some puritanical book burning governors that we had no it's not because adults believe it is not appropriate adults grown-ups believe that it is not appropriate now can you could you go to the public library the county library and get a copy of Hustler? yes Yes, you could. I don't think you could get some of the other stuff. I don't think you could, get, you could ever be able to get Gent or Jugs or Hustler. Which, that's a whole other conversation. But I believe that you could get mainstream like Playboy. I don't think you could get Playgirl, but you could, but you could get Playboy from the periodicals. You could. They were behind the counter. <laughs> and you had to show an ID. But if you were looking for a specific article in what in that periodical, you could get it. So there's always been restrictions, always, and now isn't any different. We're just learning about it. It's always been a process, always. Now, the myth is that Florida is uh, is banning children's books about Hank Aaron and Roberto Clemente. No. First of all, neither of those things are true. Here's some books that have been found uh, in Florida schools by parents. By parents, not by jackbooted thugs that are going in and kicking down the library, I mean, kicking down the door of libraries. By parents. Here's one of them. Gender Queer, a memoir. An explicit pornographic book showing sex acts. So do you really think it's okay? Do adults think it's okay that um, a third grader has a book about pornographic sex acts or sex acts? Really? Here's another book, Flamer. Oh, wow. Wow. A, gra a graphic book, which means a cartoon, a, a comic book about, a young bo about young boys performing sexual acts at a summer camp. And the one you've heard about, this book is gay. A book contain it, it has instructions on the ins and outs of, of gay sex. And, and and another one. Uh let's talk about it. A book that contains graphic pictures, depictions about how to masturbate for males and females, for, for males and females. As if. We need books on how to beat off. Really? <laughs> Seriously. Let's just, let's just be real. Seriously. Since when? All right. The other myth is that Florida is banning um, instruction on African-American history which is the most ridiculous thing ever. First of all, there's always been African-American history for years. I spent 15 years in the system. You know, I talk about that like I was in prison. 15 years in, you know, working in, in the public school system. And pretty much all the time that I can remember, there's been somebody teaching African-American history, somebody. Here's a fact. Under the new bill, 
uh, on instruction on African American history has only been expanded. It's more than ever. It's sort of the same thing about voting, right? Being are saying, oh, there's voter restrictions and blah, 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 disenfranchisement, when actually it's just the opposite, right? The, the governor signed legislation that ensures that Florida, as Florida students learn about the 1920 OC Election Day riots, in addition to requiring instruction on slavery, the Civil War, and Jim Crow laws. Additionally, the following is re- the follow- following. Excuse me, is required instruction on the history of African Americans in, in in Florida. Here's what it says in the statute: the history of African people before the political conflicts that led to the development of slavery, the passage to America, the enslavement ex- experience, abolition, the history and the contributions of Americans. Um, of the African uh, diaspora diaspora to society. Sounds like what everybody wants. What was the problem? The problem was that we're talking about an AP curriculum that was rejected because it interjected critical race theory into the curriculum. I know they love to say CRT is not being taught. Well, the concept of CRT is not being taught, but the realities and the um, methodology of CRT is being used. The difference. The concept of CRT is not being taught. That is very true. But the methodology of CRT is being used. Um, House Bill 7 signed in 2022 further expanded the instruction of African-American history to develop students' understanding of the ramification of prejudice and racism. This idea that Florida teachers could could be committing a third degree felony by having books on certain topics within their classroom. Here's, remember I just told you that I spent some time in the system. Um, Every time I say it that way, I swear to you, it sounds like uh, like I was in prison. Um, kind of, kind of was, um, but um, this whole idea and these things get passed around like in TPAs, teacher planning areas, teacher teacher cafeterias, uh, up there uh, where you sign in around the copy, you know, around the copy room, you know, in, in the copy room. These things get passed around from teachers to teachers, and they get expl- and they get blown up, and they're hardly ever true. Florida has taken a stand against pornography and sexual material in the classroom. House Bills 1557 and 1467 further solidify Florida's commitment to ensuring that content available in our schools is appropriate for students. Statute 847.012 has been a law for many years and carries a felony penalty for distribution of pornographic material to students. This new bill doesn't do a damn thing about that. That's been the law for a long time. A long time. Folks, we have to do the work. Don't we? We have to do the work. Board is not banning books. Board is not restricting restricting uh, African-American history, it isn't. And you have to wonder why, again, ask the next question. You have to wonder why this narrative is being pushed. You have to wonder why. You have to ask that question. If these things aren't true, why are people saying them? Because people always talk, tr- speak truth. That people never have... Um, motives outside of what they're saying? Well, they do. And people don't always speak truth. Again, welcome to Florida. Freedom, Florida. But we're all full. Sorry. Weather's nice. Come visit. Spend time at Universal. And then go home. Until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, take care of yourself. Uh, We'll see you when we see you.
Bye-bye.